Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna try heat embossing without any directions. Uh, and I haven't watched a video that used heat embossing in a long time. So here we go. Uh, so it came with a pen, a two-sided pen of the embossing ink, and then also an ink pad. So I grabbed my stamps. It also came with eight colors of glitter. So here I am just trying to decide which one. I'm gonna be labeling my 2020 bullet journal. I decided on the gold, as you can see, and I'm going to use a stamp for the top of it. But first, I decided to test out a little spot because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so here I am taking this little moon stamp that I have, and I'm just gonna test it out on the paper bag that I have underneath everything because I know that the glitter is going to make a mess and this way I can fold the paper bag up at the end and just add it back to the glitter container. So this is the machine. It just blows really really hot air and you just plug it in. It's easy peasy lemon squeezy. So I chose a cute sun moon celestial stamp as you can see, I used the ink pad and then I stamped it and it's crooked, but oh well. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now, this goes about as well as the year within those pages went. I mean, it works, but it ain't cute. Next up, I'm gonna write 2020 with the pen on the bottom here. And I couldn't decide, because I've never done it, if I should like do the glitter as I'm writing it so it doesn't have time to dry, or if I could write it all out at once and then use the glitter. I didn't know how fast it would dry. So the top I like stopped and did it halfway through, and then the bottom I just wrote the whole thing out and then just dumped that glitter all over it. Then I shook it around a little bit, kind of like how you do when you're using glitter on craft paper and just to try and make sure that it stuck to everything. Then I dumped it off on the paper bag, fixed a little bit of that tea there, added a little bit more glitter, shook that, dumped that off. And so now you can see it's all gold and sparkly. So I turned the machine on and I put it over it but because I hadn't watched anything with heat embossing in a long time, mind you, I got this as a gift for Christmas 2019, and this is the first time I took it out of the package. I'm sorry, I'm a bad person, it's fine. Uh, but I didn't remember what it was supposed to look like. But after like a minute or so of using the tool, you can see that it starts to get a brighter gold, and it sort of melts it together and makes it more smooth, so it's not like a gritty glitter texture anymore. And it looks pretty cool. I'm happy about it. I mean, I'm not happy about my handwriting on this. That looks terrible, but I'm very happy about the heat embossing. It looks really cool. Whoops, kind of stuck my finger in the W there, testing to see if it was dry or not. <laughs> Spoiler alert, it was not dry. <laughs> So I just went back in with the pen, added a little bit more of the embossing glue or ink, whatever it's called, added a little bit more glitter, and fixed it right up. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my stamps that connect together, so you can like string a whole word together with these, they're really cool, they have little clicky things. I bought them at Michael's, they were worth the 20 bucks because I like them and I searched for them for a while. Um, but I'm gonna just label the side with the numbers 2020 because it's gonna sit on a shelf and this way you can see it from the side. And then I just smushed it into all of that excess glitter that's sitting on the paper bag and then use the tool on it. So yeah, that's really it. That's all I did. I just wanted to play with this toy I'd never used before and 
kind of show you guys and hopefully I'll use it again in the future and it'll look way better because I'll know what I'm doing next time. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's the end. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Bye!